Well, seems like the Lopers are on the ropes for the first time this season. 17-14, Sioux Falls in set two. Lopers took the first set, 25-14. Right now, all the momentum with the team in purple. Now Askew will send this one over for Sioux Falls, and the Lopers catch a break. Those are just mistakes you cannot have against UNK, giving them free points like that. Yeah, if you're the Cougars and you want to upset the 10th-ranked Lopers, you cannot have service aces like that. You want to be as clean as you can along the service line. Sioux Falls, part of the NSIC. They were 17-11 and 11 last season. They were 12-8 and 8 in their conference. As Ketterman will send it over for Sadie Voss. Voss has her kill attempt dug up by Jensen Rouse. Now Tobenheim has her kill popped up. Sioux Falls is just going to get this one over with Samantha Riggs, the libero. Peyton Neff now sends it back to Tobenheim. Tobenheim has her kill go off of Sadie Voss. And the Lopers have cut the lead to one here in set two, 17-16. And that's what makes Rick Squire such a good coach. He took a timely timeout, and now the Lopers come out, and they're firing. Jensen Rouse back to serve. And Coach Rick Squires is the kind of coach that only uses timeouts when he feels are extremely necessary. As Ketterman will set it up for Jordan Ham. Ham goes off of a Loper. It's a point Cougars, 18-16 in set two. And the Cougars fans that made the trip down to Kearney, Nebraska, they're getting rowdy, they're getting loud, they're supporting their Cougars. And the momentum shift has gone the way of the Cougars. Now it's sent over by Jordan Ham. Peyton Neff will now set it up for Bailey Sterling. Sterling swings and gets the kill, 18-17, here in set number two. And Bailey Sterling must be taking the breath away of the Lopers bench. They really love that kill from Bailey Sterling right there. Lopers, some of the best bench celebrations in the country as Jordy Neckel will send this one over for UNK. Getterman will set it up. Kill for Albrecht, that one will go out. We're tied at 18 here in set two. Now it's 18 apiece here at the Health and Sports Center, and the crowd's starting to get a little more into it. So Jordy Neckel will be back to serve for UNK. This one tied at 18 here in set number two. Sadie Voss digs that one. Getterman sets it up for Albrecht. Albrecht has her kill blocked. Duo effort by Sterling and Tobenheim, and the Lopers up 19-18. We'll get a timeout from Sioux Falls. Well, after the Cougars had the Lopers on the rope, Lopers are right back, 19-18 here in set two. It's Loper Volleyball on KLPR Sports. Well, this has been an exciting back and forth set between the Lopers and the Cougars. Lopers now lead this one 19-18 in set number two after taking the first set 25-14. As now the Sioux Falls is going to need an answer. Lopers trying to go up 2-0 over the Cougars. Jordy Neckel will be back to serve for UNK with the Lopers up 19-18. So Neckel looks on. Both teams with one timeout left in set two, and this one looks like it's going down to the wire. Getterman, she will set it up for Sadie Voss. Voss kills it into the net, so it'll be a point UNK. They're up by two. Five more points to go for the Lopers, and just a couple points ago, you thought that the Lopers weren't going to be able to climb back. The Cougars had all the momentum, but the Lopers came prancing right back. Jordy Neckel will send this one over for UNK. That one is handled by Askew. Getterman over to Chessa Devine, who gets the kill. It's now back to a one-point game. 2019 Lopers in set two. Get a couple substitutions. As we'll have Courtney Holstein check into the game, along with Elise Gillen. Gillen will be back to serve for Sioux Falls. 2019 Lopers in set two. They're up 1-0. Gillen sends this one over. Handled by Tobenheim. Neff back to Tobenheim. Tobenheim will get... No, that one just lands in for Sioux Falls. As that was Jordy Neckel who watched it fly. She thought it was going to land out. It ends up just coming in. That's a point. Sioux Falls were tied at 20. Yeah, man. Jordy Neckel thinks she could have made a play on that, but she must have thought it was a little too far outside the line. Gillen taps this one over. Sterling to Neff. Back to Sterling. Bailey Sterling gets the kill on the back line. 21-20 Lopers in set two. It seems like every time Peyton Neff sets to Bailey Sterling, something exciting is going to happen. And so far, that has been proven to be the case. Emerson Siza will check into the game. 
as this will be Lauren Tommenheim who is back to serve for UNK. Tommenheim sends this one over. They will set it up for Holstein. Holstein will block it into the net. Point UNK, 22-20 in set two. Yeah, and that block goes in the favor of the Lopers. That's one where it just snuck in the Lopers' favor. We had one not, and that one did. Lauren Tommenheim back to serve for UNK. Lopers a two-point advantage here in set number two. Gillen will set it up. Just tapping it over as Divine Lopers are able to handle it. Sterling taps that one in. Just dug up by Holstein. Holstein tips that one over. Now it's Neckel. Peyton F. sets it up for Bailey. Sterling! Sterling another kill. It's 23-20 Lopers in set two. Loper fans, this is a duo that you've got to be excited to watch in the next year or two. This MIA conference play could be very exciting with those two. We'll get a timeout from Sioux Falls. 23-20 Lopers in set two. They're up 1-0. It's Loper Volleyball on KLPR Sports. Back here in set two. It's been a back and forth, but the Lopers a couple straight points after being tied at 20. Now a 23-20 advantage here in set number two, trying to go up 2-0 over Sioux Falls. As Lauren Tobenheim will be back for UNK. Lopers two points away from going up 2-0. Tobenheim sends this one over. It's dug up. Gillen sets it up. Sadie Voss puts it down. Kill for Sadie Voss, and the lead is cut to 2, 23-21. So Sadie Voss is back. Courtney Holstein is back into the game. As the Cougars try to come back in this one, and now there's a wet spot on the floor, so they will clean that up before we resume action. This game has the feels and the atmosphere of an MIAA conference matchup, the back-and-forth battles, the energy from the bench. If you didn't think this was Sioux Fall Cougars, you would think this was an MIAA matchup between top two teams. Sadie Voss will send this one over for Sioux Falls. Loper still only two points away from taking set two. Jensen Rouse to Peyton Neff. They'll send it back to Sterling, but it is blocked at the line by Sioux Falls. That's Chessa Devine, and the lead is cut to one here in set two. Momentum back with Sioux Falls. 23-22 Lopers in set two. Sadie Voss sends this one over. Jensen Rouse digs it up. Peyton F. back to Emerson Siza. Siza smacks that one down. And it's a kill for Siza. And now it's set point for the Lopers. The Lopers are going to feed off the energy this crowd's got to give them. They're up by two. They cannot allow the Cougars to get another point. A great serve from Bailey Sterling could get that, get that started. 24-22 Lopers in set two. Sterling looks on. A high serve. That one is just handled. And now Lopers will try to set something up. Play at the line, and it's put down by Peyton Neff, who just taps that one in there for a Loper point, and the Lopers take set two, 25 to 22. Well, the Cougars had the Lopers on the ropes, but the Lopers take it anyways. They take set two, 25 to 22. They're now up 2-0. Our in-between sets report is coming up next as we bring you Loper Volleyball on KLPR Sports. <laughs> 